an industry dominated by blokes but now female traders are getting their male counterparts a real run for their money. Not only are there more women taking up the trade, there's growing evidence that they might even be doing a better job. Man, I feel like a woman. <laughs> they fry food, they put uh, nice fine touches on stuff. I don't know what I'm doing. Forget the stereotypes, these days when you book a tradie, there's a fair chance a female will walk through your front door. If they aren't told that it's a female electrician coming, it's kind of a double take. Sparky Sally Liddell threw on a tool belt five years ago to try something different. Now she loves her trade and tries to hire other women in the industry as often as possible. So just trying to change people's perceptions of what a tradie is. The quality of work speaks for itself. Carpenter Marcel Bagu says while it can be more difficult getting jobs as a lady tradie, it makes you work harder. Girls definitely have to be better than the guys. I think we have a keener eye for detail. And there are benefits for the client. According to Home Improvement's directory, High Pages, lady tradies are rated more highly for professionalism, being on time and their communication skills. Even this year's National Young Builder was for the first time awarded to a woman. It was really great to win the award. It was fantastic. Well, Nat had very unkindly said last week when we were discussing this, it's because they don't, um, female tradies don't smell and they turn up on time. <laughs> Which I thought was a bit harsh myself. Although, although hipster jeans are very much in for women, so, you know. Uh, all right, a, a electrician and business owner, Sally Bledel, joins us now from Melbourne. Sally, morning to you. Now, how intimidating is it to walk onto a construction site full of booking blokes? What sort of reaction do you get? At the start, I found it quite intimidating just because I wasn't really used to that kind of environment. Um, but it didn't take long to get used to and all the guys have been really supportive in my experience, so it hasn't really been an issue. Why did you want to go into the industry? I just wanted a challenge and to do something different. And I saw my uncle had done it and then moved into other things, so it was something I could get into but not have to stay in the one part of the industry the whole time. Yeah, uh, that's terrific that you're, you're being made to feel welcome. So the old stereotypes are being broken down. Yes, absolutely. They're definitely uh, wearing off, you know, and now that we're getting more women in the trade, you know, our work can speak for itself. People can see our strong work ethic and the quality of the work that we're actually producing. Are there any drawbacks that you can see from being a woman and being a tradie? Not at all. Um, I mean, there's still a little bit of stigma, stigma around, but mm. apart from that, it's, it's, it's a great job to have. And I imagine that there'd be a huge amount of advantages, communication skills being one of them. Not that all male tradies don't have communication no, skills, but women like a, to talk. That's a, that's a very sexist comment. It, it is, it Defending is. Defending blokes. <laughs> but you know, women, but women if, especially if you're talking to another woman, you would get to the heart, I think, not in all cases, but quicker about what what the problem was. Yeah, women, women speaking to women, it's a common thing, you know, that's what we do every day. So to be able to do that, to get a job done that you need done, it, it makes it easier. All right, okay. Sally, well done, and very nice to meet you, and keep out of the wind. Hopefully that doesn't affect the cycle. <laughs> all right.